Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be doing carne en su jugo. Um, this is my way of making it. Um, and like I said, it's my way. Um, I was taught like this and I've been making it like this ever since. I never change anything of what I put. Um, well, I do, I'm not gonna lie. I do change something, which is the onion because here it's hardly ever re rare where I could find the cebuita cambrai, which is a little Mexican onion, um, little Mexican onion with the with the green um little end, like kind of like the green onion, but it's thicker. It's more round, more different. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have now, and then let's get started with this video. I'm gonna use a chuck roast. I'm gonna cut it right now. I'm gonna dice it and stuff like that. I have about a packet of thick bacon. I have two ser I have two jalapenos and three serranos. Oh, well, there's a little one right there. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using one onion and I'm gonna be using like about 10 to 12 tomatillos, a little bunch of um, cilantro. I'm gonna use half for the salsa and then half to chop it off for the end. And then we're gonna season with salt, pepper, and cumin. That's it. So let's get started. So yes, what we're gonna get started with right now, I'm gonna start with peeling my tomatillos and stuff like that. So they could be ready when I'm done chopping the carne. I could, that everything would be already ready. So let's do that now. Vamos a pelar los tomatillos. I probably am going to end up using less of what, what I showed you guys in the video. I'm probably going to be doing way, way, way less. So, yeah, you guys. Wow. Let's see how long it takes before que llegue la, la little bendy a dar lata o a gritar. You guys could probably hear the background noise. He's watching his baby TV. So, a snack and baby TV. Let's see how far I get with this video today. Well, without him coming crying or something. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, I already washed and peeled the tomatillos. They're already in a container ready because I'm gonna let them dry a little bit and dry them up <clears throat> because those we're gonna fry them a little bit in a little bit of oil so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut my bacon I had already cut it in half so it could be easier and faster to cut but I'm gonna cut it like about this big or maybe a little bit bigger I'm gonna do a little bit bigger like about this size right here this is how big i'm gonna do the bacon remember you're gonna cook it down and it's gonna render so i'm gonna get that started right now we're gonna put some inside the the carne and then some for just garnish after on your plate that's what we're gonna do so this is how i'm gonna do my bacon like i said like about this big because it's gonna shrink you want to see your bacon and taste it so that's what we're gonna do so let me get finished with this all right you guys well i already have my bacon cut up right here and i cut went ahead and i cut the carne too i know it looks like a lot but it's gonna um render down a little bit once i cook it and stuff like that i already have my pots heating up over there and i'm gonna go ahead and put the carne in we're gonna do that at the carne. So hold on. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I just put the carne in right here. Exactly how I chopped it up, that's exactly how I'm gonna put it. I'm not putting no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. And over here, I'm about to throw my bacon and start frying my tomatillos and stuff. So let's do that. Let's get that going right now. Like I said, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna throw that there and then grab my chiles and tomatillos and start frying them. And I forgot to tell you guys, garlic. 
garlic. We're gonna use two cloves, cloves of garlic. That's what we're gonna use for the chile. So we're gonna, I'm using, like I said, right here we got the, the jalapenos, the serranos, and the, they're already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here and get the frying. So once I fry that up, I will be back right now and show you guys how it's supposed to look when it's fried. Okay, you guys, the cebollitas, I'm gonna cut them about this thick. And then we're just gonna cut those in three pieces. So like this, in three. Because this, I'm gonna throw it in the carne once I throw the chile in. I'm gonna like saute it with the same um, oil that I'm doing the chile. And I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna put these in maybe, mm, I wanna say five minutes before I turn it off. That's when these chunks go in. These are like if they were to bend the cambrai onions that I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna try to get a hold of them and I'll show you guys in the next, in a different video what which ones they are if you don't know which ones they are, the Mexican cebollas. So, yes, yeah, so put that to the side and the tomatillo, the chiles, for, the chiles are almost done. <laughs> I just had a dull moment. The chiles are almost done. I'm about to put the tomatillos in next. All right, you guys. And this is how I live the cebollitas. We almost had a disaster there, but they're just grilled enough to where they got a little translucent. And this is the bacon. Casi, casi chicharron. Casi se. Mmm. 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 But. Like this, a little less, a little less, a little less. Time passed a little bit because I was doing other stuff. Pero sí, así tiene que quedar. And we're gonna use some of this for the carne and then some of this for a, a topping. So let me go ahead and take out the tomatillo so we can blend the chile and get start putting this together, you guys. Okay, so right when they're about like this, I'm gonna wait a little bit more. I just flip them. When they get up all like this, a little, like I said, a little bit more, I'm gonna take them out. This one, let me see. Yeah, a little bit more. So I'm gonna give it like another five minutes and then I'm gonna take them out. Same for the carne. We're gonna leave it like, like this right now because we're gonna need this. This is the jugo. This is the juice of the carne. So that's why it's called carne en su jugo. So this, the meat is pretty much already cooked. It's already cooked. So right now, we're about to take those out so we can finish this up. All right, you guys, so I'm about to blend the tomatillos and the chile. So I put about this much of water. So it's not, not much, probably like less than half a cup. You guys know that I don't personally eyeball my my condiments, my spices, or anything like that. So about this much, just like the tip of a cuchara, and then for salt, I'm gonna do like one and a half. Because remember, the meat doesn't have no salt, no, no nothing. For pepper, I'm gonna do one whole and another bit, a little bit, because I cannot not cook without it so here are my tomatillos whoa it's alive you guys so we're gonna start putting them in there with the chiles and stuff like that i already put the garlic in there i already put the the garlic in there and as much as the cilantro i'm gonna use this much of it and then i'm gonna start blending this so i can start throwing it in the carne um so let me go ahead and blend it and show you guys what it looks like after all right, you guys, so the only thing that I changed was that I put a little bit more, so like about half of it, because it was a lot of tomatillo. So let's go ahead and blend it. Okay, and this is how it's gonna look. I don't know if you guys see it, I don't know if it's the lighting, but here it is. So now we're gonna grab it and we're gonna pour it on our meat. Um, I will show you guys, but my camera guy, my son is sick today. So he's not helping me, so I'm doing this by myself today. So um, let me go ahead and pour it and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like with me having to put it in here. This is... So right now when it starts boiling, I'm gonna try it from, like to try it to see if it needs salt or if it's fine like that. Um, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the bacon. I just grabbed like a handful of it and we're gonna throw it in there maybe a little bit more for a little bit of flavor so we're gonna go ahead and let this right now i'm gonna let it boil like i said once it starts boiling i'm gonna try to see if it needs more salt or if it's good enough and then right when i know that i like it of the from salt then i'm gonna go ahead and throw the onions in okay so it's already boiling so i'm gonna go ahead and put all the cebollas in there and then give it a quick little mix give it a little and then let it boil for like five minutes so i'm gonna cover it up and let it boil for five minutes and then i'm gonna turn it off and we're ready to play all right, you guys, and I'm gonna start plating right here. What I have some some frijoles de la olla. You can't really see them, but frijoles de la olla are tintos. That's what I have at hand right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve some of this deliciousness right here. And then followed by some cilantro and cebolla. And we're gonna do some of the bacon. I like to crush it. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. It's already done, I already mixed it. The only thing I forgot, you guys, and I love this with avocado, I forgot my avocado, I forgot to buy avocado. But you create this with tortilla. Mmm. 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 I can want a little spicy, you guys. You can use tostada chips, too. The meat came out nice and tender. And this is the last bite before we go. Mmm. Mmm. Good combination, you guys. It came out so good. It came out a little bit spicier than I expected it would be, but uh, I put three serranos and two jalapenos. But you know, when you guys make something something and it's not spicy, you're like, oh, tiene que tener más chile. Well, that's what happens sometimes, so not this time porque sale picoso. But if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next week. And I also have down below the link to the video for the Agua de Jamaica if you guys want to go ahead and watch it. So, see you guys.